All right, what y'all doing? Wake up. Wake up! Got a podcast episode coming out tomorrow on patreon.com slash Adrian Expression. My other YouTube channel is lit, of course, at youtube.com slash Avatar Adrian. The links for both of those are in my description box. Let's go. Let's go. So Lupita put this out and she was like, this is how I train to be in the water, to be swimming around in uh, Black Panther 2. Now, I'm just like, girl, it's one thing to be swimming and training that way, but bitch, you adding weights to my shit? Are you serious? And uh, Lupita, that body's banging. <laughs> like, and it makes sense if you're swimming with weights in the goddamn water. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that and like the checks would have to be so bad. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I'm bringing weights into the water. It said, I thought the song was weight in the water. I didn't realize it was weights in the water, but apparently it is when, when you, <laughs> if that check is bad enough, bitch, I'm taking a whole ship anchor into that fucking water, bitch. And I'm gonna see how long I can hold my goddamn breath. Don't play, don't play with me, bitch. Disney ride a check, ho. <laughs> Period. No, but I thought that was cool. I thought y'all would like to see that because I was just like, yo, swimming is enough already as it is. Uh, but to be adding weight to that shit, you got to be a Power Ranger, all right? And that's why she looked like that in a goddamn movie, bitch. <laughs> also, since we're on that topic, Tenoch was talking here about how racism appears in his community and how it was being taught from home. And also why the, like, the new kids, the, the fighters, the radicals are really going to get the shit done and do what needs to be done because they're not afraid of identifying or uh, calling things out the way that they see it. So yeah, it was, it was a long thing that he said, but I just really, like I said, seeing him talk about that shit when he could be using his platform to be talking about literally anything else, um, I'm just happy to see it and like he fine. So, you, you know, I just, <laughs> you know, like. Also, I'm happy that Winston Duke is having so much fun on his Twitter account. I'm having fun as well because I get to see him throw axes and stuff. And someone commented, I'm surprised you didn't destroy that board to pieces, obviously with the ax that he was throwing. And Winston responded, I know how to be precise and gentle at the same time. At this point, Winston, you know exactly what you're doing. And I know a lot of elections are over, but still I do approve of that message. Let's move on. So Twitter, I guess Twitter has been on the brink of collapse for how many days now? It's still up, it's still running. I don't know how Elon is running that shit from the inside because the way that he treated, <laughs> the way he treats them employees, the way he treated employees that he fired or that he had to call back because he had no idea what he's doing. It's an absolute goddamn mess. It's an absolute mess. I just wanted to point this out real quick because they were projecting this on the Twitter headquarters building. Some of the words that were broadcasted here was Elon Musk, mediocre man-child, uh, pressurized privilege, petty racist, megalomaniac, worthless billionaire, bankruptcy baby, supreme parasite, apartheid baby. It just goes on and on and on. So if you're wondering what we think about Elon, what is, <laughs> what's going on over there, especially since he over here kicking with alt-right accounts on Twitter and stuff. If you're wondering what people with, you know, brains, Think of Elon and what he's doing over there, what he has done to employees, what he does to unions and shit like that. That's kind of the mindset that's going on. But, you know, we'll see how this plays out. We'll see if he just continues to destroy and dismantle that site. Like, we'll just stay tuned, I guess. All right, let's mention some, let's mention some headlines if we talk about politics. Trump, apparently, I think I told y'all this, Trump announces his 2024 election bid. I don't know if I said this, y'all, or if I said that he had been planning to make an announcement and we all figured that that's what he was, that, that's the announcement that he was gonna make. So we got Trump running for president, okay? So that's bad. Remember Kanye West said in 2020 that he was gonna run, but then he was like, never mind, I'm gonna save that shit for 2024. Apparently, he really is saving that shit for 2024. Um, this guy, Milo Yiannopoulos, I don't know, some alt right voice he's teaming up with. Basically, Kanye West, as we expected, is teaming up with. Um, the alt-right to help assist with his uh, presidential campaign. So we got Kanye West on the fucking, uh, on the ballot, if it's, if it's going to make it that far. Um, cause just cause he said he doing that shit don't mean, you, you know what I mean? But apparently, cause big news sites reporting this shit. So Kanye West on the goddamn ballot. We got Trump on the fucking ballot. We got Biden ass on the ballot. It's just like, girl, <laughs> it's a fucking circus. It's a clown show. Like. All I'm waiting for is the clown shoes to be in my fucking closet. And I'm waiting to hear the bing, 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 clown, clown. 
I'm waiting to hear the honk of the fucking clown car to watch these bitches get out that shit on the debate stage that I'm not gonna be watching, girl. It don't matter. These bitches could debate for 10 years. They could debate for 10 years straight. It don't matter which one of these hoes get the fucking over office. We, we gonna suffer? <laughs> We are going to suffer, bitch. Their egos are bigger than their concern for anybody who's not themselves. Like, anybody who's not them, they just, why would I want their ass sitting in the Oval Office? Like, <laughs> it's gonna be terrible. And to, to, if you thought this election shit was crazy as fuck, it's just gonna be so, it's gonna be a circus. The media is gonna have so much fun because all they have to, they're just gonna put up some bullshit that any one of these candidates say and it's just gonna be clicks. Clicks, clicks, and views, and views. That's all they give a fuck about while democracy is just whatever is semblance of it we think we pretend to have in the United States is being de de just destroyed. It's, t it's just, get me out of here. All right, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I found this headline a little bit funny. So, Senate majority. <laughs> Oh, not majority no more, girl. Senate Minority Leader. I know he itches every time he, he has to say that shit. Senate Minority? <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what Mitch McConnell do. Mitch McConnell is a Senate Minority Leader. Senate Minority... Min I bet he jumps every time he fucking... He, he damn near have a heart attack every time he has to say the word minority. Anyway, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell has voted no to advancing the Respect for Marriage Act which would protect his own interracial marriage to Elaine Chao under federal law. Now, the Respect for Marriage Act ended up passing anyway, but it was hilarious, I guess, to a lot of people that Mitch McConnell, who is married to an Asian American, would be over here trying to vote against protecting interracial marriage. <laughs> but what's fun, there's so many things that's funny about that. The first thing is that, like, when it comes to, like, these, these racist-ass politicians, it don't, it don't matter if they have a, <laughs> it doesn't matter if they have a partner who is not of their race they would throw them bitches away they would they would throw their partners away they would put, when it comes to po policy wise oh for sure they would throw them when it comes to creating policy or anything like that especially if you already consider them to be like I don't know caricatures or pets like if you're a racist and you're <laughs> you're married to somebody who is not of your who's not white like girl is giving you, you probably think of that person as a pet. Like, so that's the first thing. But the second thing is that I'm sure when we say the word interracial, like these people are definitely only thinking of just black and white. Like, <laughs> that's all they think about. That's all they think about. So it's just like, to watch that fucking old ass snapping turtle go up there and vote no while he's standing next to an, an Asian American. It's just like, girl. Girl, what is going like? What is going on on this planet? Like, <laughs> and also politically, uh, I guess Nancy Pelosi stepped down, and somebody else gonna step up and and do whatever the fuck she was doing. So I mean, I don't know what y'all want me to say about that shit. Like, girl, the empire is going to empire at the end of the day. Um, so apparently, Ticketmaster had canceled public on sales tickets for Taylor Swift's Eras Tour. Apparently, the demand for Taylor Swift tickets was so fucking high, the shit was crazy, crashing all types of shit. Um, also, the, <laughs> the the prices were absolutely out of control. And before I get into the fact that Ticketmaster is apparently being investigated by the Department of Justice, let me get into the fact that y'all were paying thousands and thousands of dollars for these Taylor Swift tickets. If you got it, you got it, right? So I'm not somebody who just got thousands and thousands of dollars at my motherfucking you know, disposal. So, girl, whatever. So, if you got it, you got it, and I, that's it. I stay in my tax bracket business. But at the same time, it's like, girl, I'm not paying. If I, even if I did have access to all that coin, I would not be sitting here using that shit on somebody that I could see. I mean, the same stage presence, the same performance level and talent level. The same, I would, all I have to do is go to my fucking nearest Starbucks and sit my ass down for a couple hours, and that's the Taylor Swift concert. <laughs> That's the Taylor Swift concert. Y'all gotta get on my face, spend all that goddamn money. But the New York Times says this, the Justice Department has opened an antitrust investigation into the owner of Ticketmaster, whose sale of Taylor Swift tickets uh, descended into utter chaos this week. The investigation is focused on whether Live Nation Entertainment has abused its power over the multi-billion dollar live music industry. That power has been in the spotlight after Ticketmaster's systems crashed while Miss Swift fans were trying to buy tickets in a pre-sale for her tour, but the investigation apparently predated this sale. But it's just so funny when, like, the U.S. government will sit here and watch these monopolies happen over these markets. Like, don't watch these things happen. 
and they'll just be like, oh my god, let's do an investigation to see, does Ticketmaster really have a monopoly over the fucking game? Does it, do these companies, I mean, they won't block mergers when it comes to like communications, um, companies, all these huge companies, like the, the US will literally sit here and watch these huge companies merge or watch these companies dominate an industry to the point where it's like they are controlling pride, everything, right? And then they'll come in like, oh girl, what? Should we have allowed that to happen? What's going on here? It's just like, girl, <laughs> the US is so weird. Like she do weird shit all the time. It reminds me, I saw another tweet, I guess, of another committee doing another investigation into Donald Trump. I'm like, bitch, committee, committee, committee. Hearing, hearing, committee, committee, hearing, committee, closed hearing, committee, impeachment committee, 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 hearing, hearing, hearing. Uh, and it's just like Donald Trump still lollygagging the fuck around. It's just like, what does, what do the US really want, girl? Like, <laughs> Y'all be watching this shit happen like, oh girl, how did this happen? How could this happen? Like, get out of my face. <laughs> that note, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching the video and make sure that you have a good goddamn evening.